Okay, hi friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. And let's continue this session related to the heap related framework. Okay, so in previous session, we have automated one test case uh, related to the Swag Lab e commerce app is for login in what is the Now, let's convert this entire test case into the EPMT TDD framework part. Okay, we'll understand this step by step, one by one, all the concepts related to the TDD framework. So, first, this video very carefully. Every concept is very important. Okay, so first of all, let's understand first concept related to this as per the our folder structure and previously discussed the automation framework related to the folder structure, right? So, let's understand we have how to define this uh, folder structure here. So first of all, uh, we have defined here ABM driver as a global level, as a class level. If I, if I created any new uh, package here and or new class here, then it's this driver session will be not available there because we have defined this driver as a only class level for this login test, right? So first of all, we require to define this APM driver as a global level. So how to define this in the TDD framework? So first of all, let's go to this APM uh, uh, SRC main Java pack, uh, Java package. Okay, I've created one new package here. Okay, so I'll give the name as one dot ps dot. Let's see uh, what we can say on here. Okay, this is one package. And I'll create one class inside this package. The name is config. Okay. Inside this uh, config class, I'll define the APM driver, which is uh, we have defined in the test, right? So let's let's define as public, static, statically define this driver. Uh, let's say APM driver. You can say driver is equal to, and we can assign the value for this driver as null. Let's import the CPM driver from your Java find purple sheet book to import it. Okay, so we have defined this config dot APM driver. So what is the exact use of this? Okay, so whenever we require the APM driver, we'll call this config dot driver. So we're not required to define this APM driver again and again, and it will avoid the driver duplication, right? So if you define the driver in the every test or every test class, uh, maybe chance the driver get config. Okay, and it will get conflict and uh, sometimes what happens uh, if it is get conflict, one driver session will be closed and another session will be to start and everything, it will get some mismatch things. So we will define this driver as a conflict or driver. So initially driver get initialized through this conflict class only. Okay, so we have defined this uh, class as a conflict. Now, second thing what we have to need to define. Like we have defined this before test method uh, here only in this in this uh, class itself or in this test class itself. So we have to define this in this test or before test uh, in the some like a commonly used class. So which is the commonly used class uh, in the TDD framework or any automation framework? We can say one is the common class used where we have defined all required method which we require to run again and again. Right, so we have created one like package in this main uh, SRC main Java package itself. So I'll create one package and I'll give a name as form dot is dot resources. Okay, so this is one is the package, and in this package I'll create one class. The class name I am defining as a best test. Okay. So this is the commonly used the best test which we can uh, use every every time we require the common used properties or commonly used methods. So here in this week lab test uh, login test we have defined this before test right. So I'll just copy this before test. Okay, or you can cut it as well. So just okay. So define purpose. Let's copy this one and let's paste it here. Okay. Now here we can see before test. So here driver not initialized because we have defined the driver here on the global level, right? So now in this uh, session, what we have done, we have created one config uh, class here. So what we can do, we'll just assign this APM driver from this config class. Config dot driver here also we can define as a config dot drive. Now let's import this config dot driver from this package itself. It's imported here, right? And there is one. So we have defined before test here. Now, what we have to do second thing in this particular class uh, itself. So let's say 
in the best test first change we have done in the apm credit framework is we have defined the one common apm driver now second thing we have to change that we have defined the hard coded values here related to the our app package name app app tt name and uh, device name and platform name and our apm uh, like apm server url as well now we have to define one more capability here let's say define this capabilities dot set capability okay and uh, in this let's say define one more capability its name as automation name and we can define this automation name as a android Uh, so UI, sorry, UI automator to this capability also required to get all the elements. Okay, so we have defined the automation name here should be capital here. Can't make this type of mistakes because uh, if you not define it properly, it's a very case sensitive to not work. So automation name as a UI automator to okay so this capability we have set now let's understand this we have done all the hard coded value works so we can't uh, do the hard coded values in in our code so what we have to do so we have to uh, if we require to change the like the you know, uh, what we can say uh, any app any other another app or any like uh, device or anything so we not required to always come to the coding part and change that uh, every time and we can run that part, okay so what we have to do we have to define this in the some like a properties file uh, this package name uh, uh, activity name this url name so that uh, whenever we require to change anything like uh, in the device name and everything so we can simply go to the uh, like let, let's say test in the XML file if you parameterize that or let's say we can use from the some properties file so we can go there and we can simply change that name and we can run the our uh, run our code uh, through that properties file only so let's create one properties file for this to define this all these hard-coded values so first of all we uh, define this app package name activity name and uh, this automation name and this url into the our test data dot properties file okay so how to create our test data properties file it's it's a commonly properties file so first of all go to the resources main resources folder and inside this main resources folder create a one file in file and we can give the name as config dot properties okay. so this is one config dot properties file so first of all let's create a one uh, config dot properties file uh, for android let's say android app package name okay and let's define this package name from here best is we can copy this one and paste it here. Okay, now let's uh, create another one. Let's say Android app activity name, right? So Android app activity name. Okay. Activity name and let's copy this from Android app activity name from here and paste it here. Okay. Also define automation name as well. This is the one package, uh, package name as well, right? Automation name. So depend this automation name as well. Android app. Cancel automation name is equal to name UI automated two, right? Okay. Now we have defined this. Uh, config dot property file inside this resources folder. Now we have required to access this in our best test. So we can be, uh, remove this hard coded values from here and we can simply get that value from this test data dot property file config test data dot property file. So how to do that? So first of all, let's create a one method here. Let's say public. Oh, 
what we can say uh, or we can define this here only uh, for your understanding purpose first of all we'll change it later so first of all let's define this here in the before test itself in the, in the next session we can change it uh, to your understanding purpose i'm defining here here in the base test only so first of all let's define that public static define properties uh, let's say we can say yeah properties uh, prop we can define it like this input this properties okay now uh, let's define here this pro is equal to new properties define this like properties we have de defined this global uh, properties file now let's uh, define this as a first of all let's change this one change to prop okay we have done the explain mistakes here so properties props and after that let's uh, define uh, create a file input strip for this because this is the one file right uh, config.properties we require to access so create a file input stream and in this file input stream let's say create a file if i is, is equal to new and we can define as a file input stream and we require to access this file okay so we can define the property path like this as well see whatever driver okay so but it will uh, this this path will will work in this local uh, system only okay so this path will work in this local system but if you import this project in other other system then this path will not work because this is the hard coded path of this system only so we have to define the uh, global path which will be work everywhere whenever you import this project in any machine so let's define that uh, path as well global path so we can define the system dot let's say properties uh in this we can say system dot git property and uh, in this we can define like a user directory right user dot directory it we can get the global uh path here like uh, for example if you import this pro uh, project on any machine uh, that this uh, system dot get property will return the path till this folder after that we require to uh, get this path so it will automatically get this path on any uh, any machine so let's define now src okay so this will return the path till this project after that in this project we have to get this folder like src after that in the src we can get main and after that we can get resources resources and in this resources let's slash we require this config dot property right and this file let's define the plus now we have get this config dot properties file okay. now let's load this file so we can define as a foo Oh, let's change this to property. Oh, we have change required to do this change this value. So dot let's say properties. Um, what we can say to dot let's say load load in the input stream. We can pass this address. So we have to declare uh, through these declarations as well as exception. Now uh, file I so first of all let's understand what we have done here so we have defined one is uh config dot properties file here in, in the, through this properties uh file input strip we are accessing that config dot properties file and we're accessing these elements which we have defined this properties file right so now how to access this element so first of all let's say i'm defining here like a uh app package name so how to get that package name so i can simply define it like a string uh let's say android App package name is equal 
so if I define this one like this, and if I define like a prop dot, uh, let's say git property and git property, if I define this like uh, Android practice name, So it will return us in the Android package name, which is we have defined in this config dot properties file. This one. Okay. So if we can simply uh, uh, add this app package name here. So we'll get the app package name. So Otherwise, the... simply you can copy this one and paste it here. Okay. So we not required to define this. Okay, it's totally up to you how to how we how you want to define this one. Okay, I'm simply putting this one. So this is more readable. So I can uh, stay with this one only. So simply you can whatever we require you can define like this. So now we require app activity. So Android app activity no. Activity name. Let's copy this from Android app activity name from here. Yeah, paste it here. So get this. You can pass this activity name here. Okay, now take this automation name as well. So I'll simply copy this one. And uh, we can import out automation name so simply copy this automation name from here we can paste it here so we get this automation name here we can paste it here okay so now there is a automation name app package name and app activity name will come from this config dot properties file which is a global properties file and we are not doing the hardware value for this Later, we have created one simple method for this, and we are defining this in the same another method. But this is the good idea. We keep it here as well. Before test, later we have do the some changes. Now we have done the uh, how to handle this config dot property file, how to read the value from this property file, uh, and uh, how to define that, and how to get this, and how to define it in the capabilities as well. So we have completed this part. Now in the next uh, part, uh, let's understand. Uh, how to parameterize this Android uh, device name and uh, like platform name and everything we require uh, using the custom JXML file parameterization. Okay, so we have defined this hard code value for this uh, APML URL as well. So we can define this in the config dot properties file. So it will no more hard code. We can define here the APM URL. And uh, just copy this URL from here and define it to the one dot properties file. And in the best test, we can define like this. This one string and here just copy this APM URL from here. Very simple. APM URL has name. APM URL. And just copy this APM URL and paste it here. How cool it is! So now, uh, this all four capabilities, uh, all three capabilities, and this APM URL no more hard coded in our circuit. Okay. In the next section, let's understand how to parameterize this Android uh, platform name, device name, everything to the test and JSON file. Okay. So let's continue the session in the next chapter. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.